Hello and welcome to another episode of The Deck Turtle. So just before we get started, I thought it'd be helpful. Uh, I decide, What I've decided to do is slightly tweak the schedule for my videos. I'm still going to be doing or aiming to do three videos a week um, coming out now on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But in terms of and this just applies to videos that are based around older blocks so where I'm going through as I've been doing from what is it basically Tempest forward I suppose what to expect and what I've decided to drop so I know I'll just keep rolling these rounds as I move through to the next block and it's basically going to set the, take this format going forward. So we're going to have a set musings from the first set of the block. And then a deck turtle using six packs from that first set. Um, a commander fodder based on the rares from that episode of the deck turtle. Then a commander fodder based on one of the theme decks from that set. Then second set, we'll have a set musings, a direct turtle for that, just that set, six packs. A commander fodder based on the rares from that pool. And then a deck turtle based on three packs from the first set and three packs from the second set. And then the corresponding commander fodder based on the theme deck from the second set and then on the third set same again with the set musings same again with an episode of the deck turtle same again oops slight mistake there same again with the commander fodder that's based around those uh, rares from that uh, Turtle episode, and then we'll be doing uh, two packs from each of the sets that form the block for a deck turtle, epi deck turtle episode, and then a final commander fodder based on one of the theme decks. I think there's normally four theme decks in a set, so one of those. What I've done is is I've removed from the schedule. This is my original schedule that I was thinking about when I started to really um, move forward I'm going to remove the deck turtle episodes for first set plus the third set and the second set plus the third set basically and my reason for doing this is that uh, and you can see here it, it, it's really just the deck turtle episodes are affected and uh, these are the combinations since I've been doing it that I get the most out of and that's ba the basis for, for this really I was probably finding that there were just too many episodes per block for the deck turtle and um, I could have gone down the route of maybe having this one here instead of all three but I quite like having an episode that features all three of the sets from the block together <clears throat> so going forward and of course that may change further on and obviously I'm going to make certain tweaks as we get on to later blocks where it's not a three set block so based on that we're now up to two packs each from Urza's Saga, Urza's Legacy and Urza's Destiny there's one more video in this particular block to do after this and that will be a theme deck uh, de uh, Commander Fodder episode. So let's just look and see. So here's the final pool, but I'm going to look and just show you what rares were from the virtual pool. So from Urza Saga, we got a Mishra's Helix and a Temporal Aperture as our rares. Then we've got an Eviscerator 
and a fleeting image from Urza's legacy. And a metal worker and a Phyrexian negator from Urza's destiny. In terms of the uncommons, Urza's saga, Cassodian, Fire Ants, Jagged Lightning, Rain of Filth, Scourge Familiar and Vile Requiem. Just going down to the commons. Let's just organize by, organize this by colour. So as we go through this also we're on the lookout for removal. You'll see in a moment we did pull a number of non-basic lands across the whole block which is quite interesting. Looks like we've got a fairly even colour distribution. Even though we've opened two packs as well, we're getting some duplicates here at common. I expected to get at least one enchantress. Couple of chime of nights there, squirming mass. As I have my elder, an inflated spider. Okay, so let's switch to the card pool. Swap this one out. <clears throat> As you can see, and, and I can, I've mentioned this before. Um, there's alternate artwork where there's the presence of a skeleton. You can see here. Okay, so what do I want to do here? That's interesting. Tap down opponent's lands. Check for your library and reveal the top card until the end of turn. As long as that card remains on top of your library, you may play the card as though it were in your hand without paying its casting cost. Interesting. So we have a cycling land from Urza Saga in red. And we have one of the cycle of lands that becomes a creature from the block. I think I'm going to just temporarily sideboard these. Till I decide what I'm going to do. So what have we got in terms of removal? There was a lot of um, stuff that was, there was 
hand disruption in this block actually. And we do have a befell. Eradicate. So this was a thing as well in the block if you remember. Searching uh, controllers, graveyard, hand, and library for all copies of that card um, and remove them from the game. And I believe, yeah, that was from as there was a cycle of those from Urza's Destiny. I've got to rejuvenate a Moltani's dec decree and a jagged lightning. Rains of filth at instant speed, a snap. It's a free mana spell. Symbiosis is a pump spell on two creatures. Repopulate and get all to shove all cards from target. Plays graveyard into that player's library. Scent of Ivy. Magnify, Shower of Sparks, it's a Heat Ray, Large Last, Last, Last Ditch Effort, the Congregate, Radiance Judgment, Destroy Target Creatures Powerful or Greater. Iron Wheel and Burst of Energy. Okay. It's one of those disciples that has protection. Right. Echo was of course a thing in the set. Destroy target creature enchantment. Protection from artifacts. It's a wall. Yeah, let's lose white. Cathodian. I don't think I've had those, that in a pool yet. I may have done. Okay, so at the moment I'm just deciding what I don't want to play. Bounce spell. There, let's just have a look at these blue creatures. One for three with a counter spell on it. Two one for two. Two one for three. Five protection for red. Hmm. We've got a lot of flyers here in blue. Come back to blue later if I feel so inclined. Maybe take a look at, we'll see what our black cards are. 
Actually, I think I might be able to a blue red deck, possibly. Okay. Scourge Familiar is flying. Play Beatles. Friction Rootling. Joint Cockroach. Eviscerate as protection from white. But you lose five life. Squirming Mass. Ravenous Rats and the Phyrexian Negator. When it dealt damage, so it's a permanent for each one damage you dealt to. Mm. Okay, let's just ditch these for the moment and have a look at a green black, um, not green black, green red build. And then what we'll do is we'll try we'll try blue black as well. And we might even try looking at these cards. Black red. So 34. <clears throat> so we need to lose eleven cards here. Plenty of creatures to play with. So yep, I'm gonna keep that. Don't need that in the deck. Don't need rejuvenate. That's good. Repopulate's interesting. That's an interesting card in combination with Ferrex in the Gator, but we only get to do that once. Share of Sparks and Heat Ray. Whenever your opponent says he casts a creature to fly. Okay, I like that. Right. Let's just have a look at some of the one drops here. Two one for one, but we have a one as an echo cost. We've got two of those. Goblin card. Okay. Okay. I'm looking red.
playing a ton of enchantments. Okay, I'm rather sport for choice here. I need to cut back a bit on my instance. Yeah, we don't want to give that to everybody. I see quite a few two ones in the set, so this is probably quite good. I don't know if I want to be sacking creatures. Exchange for damage. Hmm. That's a bit tricky. Okay, let's have a look and See what we've got here. So actually doing pretty well on the three drops. I'm gonna sideboard that I think. Creatures. Oh no, sorry. This was Echo, double green Echo cost. Hmm. It's unlikely I'm going to be able to play it on turn two. It does tie me up quite a bit. I do get to draw a card. So four, 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 five, and it has reach on it. Two, two, four, four with first strike and haste. Hmm. Let's draw with echo and haste. Let's do three damage to target player. I don't know if I want to really be doing that. It might be a bit risky. Okay, just got to lose one card here. We've got Simeon Grunt with Echo on it. play speed that's pretty cool three three for three artifact creatures quite unusual and that when it's put into the graveyard you get to generate mana interesting
three three for three that can't block two two for three with haste two one for three with protection from white and play any time play an instant it's like a flash two damage Pinger. Oh, hang on. Two one for three. Fire and steals one damage to each other creature without flying. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, pretty happy with that. 23. Okay. Green and red. Did we, we got rid of, well, we've still got double green here, so it's going to leave it. I don't know if I want to go down that line. Okay. So we'll add some forest. And mountain. Oops. <laughs> well, you know what we have to do. This is the best bit. <laughs> oh yeah. Classic. I think that's probably my favourite forest artwork. So that it's pretty nasty. Um, okay, so see what some hands look like. I'm just going to test that I can get back into this okay. See, we know the sort of problems I've been having without it losing half the deck. Oh there we go, that's good. Okay, two mountains and a forest. A plated spider, so what's that? Turn five, turn three goblin medics, turn three simian grunts, and a turn three Cathodian. So, better choice about three drops, not much happening till turn three. <laughs> now, now we have a goblin patrol, and here are my order. <clears throat> so yeah, as I pointed out, one problem with this is we've got a bit of a hole uh, in our in our two drops in terms of creatures. So, and most of our one drops, I think, are spells. Oh, sorry, non-creature spells. So 
Forest the Mountain, turn three Lone Wolf. Yeah, so we we have a ton of three drops and we're going to see that statistically. Oops. I think I know that already. So I'm just going to look at some opening hands, I think, just to see. They're coming out pretty good, actually. But yeah, we're going to just see invariably we're going to get a handful of three jobs so yeah a bit on the slow side but i think once this all comes online it's really good actually not not too much i can do i think to improve that Right, so what I'm going to do is let me just reorganize this. So we'll sort this by color. Getting a bit better at moving all this stuff across. So I'm going to take out the green, uh, put in the black, and then we'll, after we look at that one, we'll take the red out, put in the blue. I think that's what we'll do. So let's just add this all in first but first I'll see what do we want to do here so this is playing around with these counters okay so we did, that's handy because we're going to lose obviously some of our removal when we remove do we have no actually we this is going to really beef up things because not surprising we don't have a ton of removal in green, not directly anyway. That's better. Right. So. I don't know if I want to be sacking lands, to be honest with you. Do I want a 1 1 for 1 with Swan Wall? Probably not. Mm, I'll leave that for the moment. This and this really. Yeah. It's just too thin in the sealed deck to make that work. Interesting finisher. Mm, no. Have to be a bit careful with this. <laughs> of shenanigans to make some of this stuff work you do need like sack enablers and I'm just going to temporarily leave this in until I get the balance right and then I'm going to sub the land out. I think it's quicker doing it that way. So 
interesting interaction. Right, mm, don't want to be playing around with these. Charm Knights put into the graveyard from play, destroy target non black creature. Mm. Could probably work against me. anything apart from well obviously mess with my opponent's hand when would it come out as well turn four mm. interesting multiplier card Okay, just keep on just leaving the land in there for the moment. Is there anything here? Creature wise, I don't want two of them. Mm. That's for two, but it's unblockable. It's a shame I don't have anything decent at the moment on the, the creature enchantment side of things. Interesting finisher, but I'm wondering how much low my life. See, by the time you play this, <clears throat> I'm gonna sideboard that. Let's see how this looks. So, done it again. One I meant. Okay. gonna go so I'm just trying to think if I'm gonna be yeah I'm gonna need some so let me just switch that off I'm gonna do red blue oh no no I'm not gonna do any green so that's fine I could oh it's too late now <clears throat> so I'm just trying to think if I ever need to drag any of those back in but I don't so it didn't matter right let's do this. I'm pretty pleased generally with this card pool actually.
getting all right there we go that's that's what I wanted to do I'm very confused Left, left it at that. I do have double, double black though. So let's do that. Right. Again. Safety first. I've saved it. Just because of the weirdness I've been getting with these when I play test them. Yeah. See. Look. Chime of Knights came back in. That's better. Right, so let's just play test this and see what's going on. Okay, single swamp. That's not good. Oh, there's our mountain. Okay. I don't know how much more we've improved our hole in our two drops. Not much, really. Or at least in a sufficient way to be able to get them out early enough, or probability wise, stand a chance of doing that. again yeah, I think I prefer the red green to this one <laughs> okay and finally in our exploration <coughs> Oops, wrong button. Okay, so let's bring in some blue, see how that pairs up with red, see what we get. Got any red enchantments? No. <laughs> Okay, fine. Cast a spell. Mm. Okay, let's just let me put that in. There's a pinger, a flying pinger. Two, two for three, we get to look at our hand. There could be an argument here for doing blue, black and introduce some of those card discard, hand discard stuff. Interesting to see life drain in the in blue. During the upkeep of Enchanted Enchantments Controller. Mm, leave that out for the moment, I think. And there's also a number of unblockables in blue. It would be nice if there was some enchantments that could sit on those as well. My creature enchantments, but we'll see.
All right. Okay, six cards. Well, we've got a, quite a lot of <coughs> creatures to play with here, so that's quite good. Anything on this side, I don't think. Do I want to... It's a pretty interesting card, actually. Oh, yep, need to get rid of that. Right. Two to three, unblockable if defending players playing an artifact. I'll leave that in. Two one for two vanilla. Two one for three with flying. And we get to bounce it if we want to. Unblockable one one for two. Pinger. One one for three with flying. Pro red flyer two one for three. Two two for three. Flyer. Card draw two two for four. It's got a counter spell staple to it. Let's um, get enchanted creature unblockable. Hmm. So, what do I want to do with these slightly higher cost, low power toughness creatures which have abilities on them? It is useful with there being so many two ones in the set. for choice. Let's just see what the curves curves out like. I've got two evasive enchantments. Okay, maybe we need to do something about these three drops. So we got, we're much better now mm, with our two drops. Although, mm, there's a lot of enchantments there. We're dropping our Goblin Patrol. finishes so maybe we need to prune out our three drops
I think she got rid of that. The zone. I do with a one 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 unblockable. <laughs> I have one of them. <laughs> uh, tricky. I've got nothing to put on it really. I gotta get rid of two cards. Very tricky. Maybe I'll get rid of that. Two one for one, but I got the echo cost on that. What if I So we just lose our swamps and put in some islands. It's an interesting seal pool because we got a ton of creature choices which we don't always see. I was quite surprised to see that in this set actually. I was expecting it to be enchantment heavy again like our other builds but it didn't happen <laughs> probably in this case we would have wanted that with some other stuff we pulled particularly those unblockables it would have been interesting if we'd had uh, some sort of enchantment to stick on it that would have uh, complemented that okay let's see what this looks like Uh, 
Okay, what have we just regained? <laughs> so we now have three goblin patrols. That's funny. I don't quite know how that happened. So we got a bit of a bugger. Yep, we're good. Okay. So three mountains and an island. We've got illuminated wings, which obviously we can't play till we get something. And in a cloak of mists. Oh dear. And now we've got a single island. No, we're not doing well here. And now we've got three islands and a mountain. Telepathic spies. Okay, that's fine. So I think it's just maybe more a case with this is our luck is against us. We're not really pulling any creatures either. And we do have quite a few. Hmm. Oh, there's our veil of birds and we have an island. Cool. Okay. There's an interesting interaction between that and the um, Phyrexian negator actually in that that gives you sack outlets or sorry it gives you things that you can <coughs> destroy to to keep your Phyrexian negator in play. <clears throat> but again from a probability standpoint it's just too many things have to be right that's the trouble when you've got like you know two card combos in sealed or sorry more correctly two card synergies in sealed and you don't have multiple copies it doesn't work out very well okay i think um i think i'm i think i'm done i think that's uh so yeah that I found <clears throat> with that one both the initial green red very interesting deck um, red black was was not too bad but green red one was was cool uh, the the blue red one there I think we were just just bad bad draws um, And you can see, you know, th th there are some very interesting interactions actually going on between blue and black as well. So that would be like a, if I was looking to try out a fourth thing here, then the blue black side of things. So that's it in terms of this video. Looking at our schedule, uh, the next thing to look forward to is oh, a commander fodder episode for a particular theme deck. So um spoiler alert spoiler alert uh, let me just bring this up actually so this is the uh, urza's destiny the four themes decks from urza's destiny so we've got the assassin deck with attribution as body snatchers are rare um where is it battle surge which is what's that blue that's blue red goblin marshal and urza's incubator Enchanter is white blue. I'll come back to that in a moment. And Fiendish Nature is I imagine that's oh it's black green aggro. Okay, with ancient silver back and pattern of rebirth. So I couldn't help but uh, pick this one seeing as it does have a a legendary in it. It does mean under this uh with this particular scenario where because if I don't find a legend in a pack, then I just try and stay with the colours and build around the theme and choose an appropriate legend. As we actually have a legend, I'm going to build around that. 
We can include the Thran Golem. It does make rele make sense in the deck, but it does mean I've got to pull all the white cards. So essentially, our um, as I call it, the seed for the deck when we build it is is mainly going to be well, is essentially going to be the blue cards that are in here. Um, I may remove some of those if they're not relevant to the um, theme of the deck but often I'll just lead them in leave them in to see where the the deck seeding takes us so yep next episode we're going to be building around that so once again uh, thanks for watching and bye for now